Hi 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 welcome to code evo this is day 33 of 100 days of code and we'll be looking at queue today so queue is one of the basic data structures and it would come right after stack so we don't know what the stack is we already have a video on that you can watch that before watching this or you can also watch that after watching this it doesn't matter where you watch it like uh, both are independent of each other right fine so a queue is just a simulation or a basic simulation of the actual queue that we use in real world right so let us say you go for a uh, you go for shopping and you have all the things that you need in your cart and you are going to bill it right so when you go to bill your uh, cart there will be a queue right so and you will you will join them at the end okay you will not intervene in between you cannot go at first you will join them at last okay you will join the queue and you will add at last right because what we use is called first come first serve right this is the principle that we use meaning the one who gets to come first will be the one who gets to bill their uh, cart first right so that is it seems like a fair deal right it's quite uh, fair and uh, the one who comes first gets served first so that is exactly the principle that we use in the queue data structure right there are uh, many applications uh, for uh, queue so one basic thing could be like uh, something like uh, task scheduling in our uh, cpu but uh, it it actually is more example of uh, circular queue uh, but then yeah so whenever you come across something like uh, whoever comes first gets to serve first and you maintain a list of people who has come you you, you generally use a queue because you you need to know whom to serve first right so that is where this queue comes in so in this video we'll be looking at uh, how to implement a queue in an array right so let us say we have an array and let us say its size is 5 right so we have an array which is capable of holding 5 integers let us say and we are supposed to uh, implement a queue using this okay and let us say we are just pushing and uh, popping numbers out of this okay so generally uh, push and pop are terms we use for a stack push is when we insert and uh, pop is when we uh, delete it we can actually use the word push but i'm not sure if you could use the word pop in a queue but it's fine just insertion and deletion right so let us say uh, we are going to insert the numbers 4 5 1 2 and we are going to uh, delete the number 1 uh, and we are just going to insert the number 7 again okay so for deletion i have uh, used blue color so these are the operations that we are going to perform in this queue so uh, the uh, ones that are in black we are going to uh, insert them and uh, blue also has the first two same letters okay ones that are in blue you are going to delete them okay so these are the operations that you are going to do so what you are going to do is that you are going to have a couple of variables we are going to implement this queue in an array right so we are going to have a couple of variables one is going to be front and the other one is going to be rear okay now what i am going to do is that i am going to make both these initially to be zeros okay so and then let us just uh, index this array 0 1 2 3 and 4 right so we have index this array and uh, both front and rear are zero okay so what I, if this condition is met it means that there is no element present in this queue and now what you are going to do is that you are going to insert this 4 right so when we insert this 4 we are going to insert it at the rear okay for every queue insertion always happens at the rear right so we are going to insert this 4 at the rear so rear is also zero right so we are going to insert the 4 here and you are going to increment the value of rear so rear would now become 1 okay so uh, front is going to be uh, the same because uh, we haven't deleted any element whenever you delete an element you delete from the uh, front of the queue and whenever you insert an element you insert it at the end of the queue right so that that is what we have done here and again sorry again we are going to insert 5 right so 5 is going to be inserted at the rear which is the first index and 
rear is going to be incremented so now rear becomes 2 again we are going to insert 1 so 1 is going to be inserted here and you are going to increment rear and rear is going to become 3 again you are going to insert 1 sorry you are going to insert 2 and you are going to insert 2 here and you are going to increment the value of rear and rear would become 4 now in this case you are going to delete 1 okay delete 1 is not possible in a stack sorry in a queue also in a stack it is not possible so you cannot select the element which you want to delete from the queue if you want to delete something it is always going to be the first element of the queue because that is how a queue runs okay uh, like you are in a building counter you are you are standing in a queue the one at the starting of the queue is going to be served is going to be uh, built for his cart okay not the one at the middle so one here is at the middle of the queue which cannot be deleted but if in case it were four or just a pop operation just a deletion operation it is going to be the four so the value of front is going to be incremented meaning that we have deleted one element and this is no longer the part of a queue okay so this is how it can it can happen it, in no way you can delete an element from the middle of the queue right and again you have an insertion so we are going to insert it at the rear 7 and the value of rear is going to be incremented and it's 5 now and at this stage if you are trying to insert another element you can say that there is no more space in the queue and you cannot insert any more elements into the queue okay so that is that and if you try to remove these elements again and again right so let us say i am going to remove uh, again i am going to remove 5 like obviously in that order there is no other way you have to remove elements right so if you keep on removing elements you will remove 5 then you will remove 1 again you will again remove 2 and you will remove 7 and in this case the value of front would also become 5 right so you cannot remove any more elements from it like there is no more space here like there is no more elements present in this queue and you cannot remove any element from it and uh, that is also a case where you you should say that there is no more element in the queue to be removed okay so those are the uh, end conditions right if it is not like if, if the front is available and the rear is available you can insert from the rear and uh, when you try to delete an element you are going to delete it from the front of the queue so this basically is the uh, principle or uh, how a queue works now we'll move to geeks for geeks there uh, we have a simple question where uh, you are supposed to implement this queue using an array okay so we'll uh, move to geeks for geeks and try to program this so here we are in geeks for geeks and we are supposed to complete these two methods and uh, this whole thing is inside a class and uh, we have an array and that is of uh, that is of very big size okay you don't have to worry about that now now in the push function you are going to uh, see that you are, you are going to insert your current value at the rear end right and when I was trying to talk to you about the logic, I said that if the front is almost at the back or uh, you cannot remove at that position and if the rear is almost at the end of the queue, you cannot insert any more elements into it. But in this case, we are going to ignore that because the array of array size is quite big and there is not going to be any test case where uh, it would be like larger than the array size. Right? So, you are going to ignore that condition and you are just going to uh, insert your new element in here. Right, so array of rear equal to x. Okay, so I have inserted your new element in the rear and you are going to increment the value of rear because that is what we have done already. Right, you are going to insert your element at the last of the queue and you are going to increment the rear pointer so the new element can be inserted at the next position. So, this is the uh, push method. So for the pop method, you are going to see if your queue is empty. If it is not, you can remove element from it. If it is empty, you are going to return minus one, meaning that uh, you, the uh, remove process or the deletion process is not possible. Okay, so that is what you are going to check. If you are going to check if your queue is empty. So how are we going to do that? If your rear value is zero, okay. If rear is zero, it means that there is no element present in it because uh, if some element were present in it, the rear would have been increased to 1. At least if one element were present in it, rear would be 1. So if rear is 0, it means that uh, the queue is empty. Okay. And 
another condition could be front equal to equal to rear so when is this condition met let us say you have inserted one element so the rear value would be one right and you have deleted one element from the list so the front value would also be one but in this case the queue is empty right because you have inserted one element you have deleted one element and both front and rear are at one currently okay so it means that the rear equal to zero condition has not satisfied but even in that case the queue is empty okay so that is when we are using this condition front equals equals rear and in that condition you are going to just return minus one okay return minus one and if this is not the case it means that the queue is not empty so in that case we can just increment the value of front okay you you don't have to worry about the element that is present where because you have just ignored it and considered this part of the array so you have uh, said that that is a material because this is an array right there is no way you can possibly delete that element from the array so you have just incremented the value of front and uh, before that you are also going to return the element that is currently present at the front of the queue okay pop method generally does this it is going to return the element and then you are going to delete it so instead of just doing uh, friend plus plus you are also going to return it okay so return of arr of friend plus plus now you would have a question because uh, i have done friend plus plus and uh, that is inside this arr so it is just post fix meaning that arr of friend would have been returned and only after that the value of friend is going to be increased right so it is not like it is going to return the second value of the array or uh, the second value of the queue uh it is going to return the front value the first value in the queue and then it is going to increment the value of front so that is what this code does okay so i hope it's fine now i'll try to run this and see if it works so the code is working fine hope you understood this queue if you have any questions put them in the comments and i'll get back to you uh see you on tomorrow's episode 100 days of code bye for now